All right, it's Sunday. We're changing oils today on uh, spreader tractors and Dodge pickups. We've got my truck that we're doing now. Junior's going to help me uh, get the oil drained out of that. And uh, we've got some garbage in here to pick up. Got some new crawler parts there. But uh, here's our stump pumper here. Jared's changing oil on his truck. And uh, we're working on the 9320 and spreader now. Actually, they are working on it. I'm just kind of overseeing things here today. Uh, we've got some bolts here to tighten up. They've just went around the spreader here with a grease gun and it's raining again. Um, and Joe's putting some new pieces on the bottom step here. So, you need a hose for that pressure washer? All right, you're just waiting for him. So we're getting some pieces put on that lower step. They're just plastic uh, pieces here that hook to that bottom step. He's actually going to replace both of them. Uh, Fitz has got the pressure washer hooked up. He's looking to uh, do a little wash in here. What do you need? Probably 7 16 bolts? 3 8 3 8 Okay. All right, so Junior's under the truck here. He wants to drain the oil out of the out of the blue truck here. I gotta grab a flashlight. Doesn't look like we... You have a flashlight? Alright, Junior's got the flashlight underneath here. You got one? Oh, he's got a flashlight on his tool belt, actually. Alright, where's your ratchet? You got your ratchet? It's over there. Let's go and pull the oil filter off. Alright, the Dodge uh, Cummins engine filter is in above the frame rail on the right hand side just above the uh, spring holder bracket. It's uh, right there. So we're going to spin that off in there. We have to drop that down, lay it down and pull it out. Jared bought this uh, little gadget online. I don't know where the heck he got it, but it spins into the top of the filter. He dropped, just let the filter fall down into the frame rail, spin this into the top of the filter. You don't lose any oil and you can pull it out of there. So that's what we're going to use on that. Get that there. Junior's helping. We got pretty well full staff here today. Just doing service work and whatnot. And I just dropped that filter wrench down in there. I can't seem to get it to fit onto the filter. Let me see if I can. Alright, we got the filter wrench on there. The trouble is the filters. Not just yet, Bob. Uh, you can get a ladder over here. I don't know if anybody can see that, but there's undercoating on the filter so the wrench isn't sliding up on it decently enough here. All right, so we've got the filter loose. I've got to drop this filter down. Now, the engine's been running, so the oil in the filter is going to be a little hot. 
it's always kind of a pain when you do this because uh, you spill a little oil and it's hard to get that filter out of there so this little tool Jared bought looks like it's pretty handy I haven't used it before but he just got done using it on his where'd you buy that tool Amazon, Amazon. Gino's garage. Gino's garage so we're, the filter now is just setting down in the frame rail you can you can kind of see it right there filter setting right here like that Let's see if I can do this now nah, throw that one out put the new one on both spots both of them on there yeah we could save that other new one throw it under the seat or something so we're just gonna spin this guy into the filter I'm trying to do this with one hand and hold the camera too um, all right that's gonna boy this thing's pretty handy all right so that plug is in the filter now normally what I would do is I would just pull this filter out and it would drain down onto my hand and the oil was hot you could see I've done that in the past here which I, I'm not afraid of getting the old oil on the frame because actually that'll act as a um, you know a little bit of rust proof if anything else so uh, now we're not going to spill any oil with that plug on there we're just going to pull this out of here like this now the, the the filter's got oil in it I'm pulling it out of there like that and this is you know got it capped pretty good now we're gonna come over to here like this and we're gonna drain the filter into our uh, used oil bin I've got that like that. I don't know how well the lighting is here. So we'll just spin this out of the filter. We'll make sure we give this back to Jared because uh, he's not going to want me to lose that. So that again, that's all this is. It's just a uh, cap for the filter. And then uh, we'll just dump the. Uh, oil out of our filter into our oil hopper this is our used oil drum that's a thousand gallon oil drum that we use for our used oil furnace and yes this is a mess in here right now but we need to get that cleaned up so jared's getting the oil in his truck uh now we're going to get the oil plug back into this one we'll let andrew um all right we're going to get the oil plug back in Junior wants to get oil dumped in himself. Push that drain pail forward. Pull that out the front. Stick our oil plug back in there like this. Okay, we got the oil plug all in, Bob. Did you see how that went in there? No. No? We just threaded it back in the oil pan, okay? Yeah. All right, Junior rolled in underneath on a creeper, so he's gonna roll back out. All right, Junior wants to pour the oil in, so I'm gonna help him get set up doing that. And, uh, yeah. So, all right, the other thing that this thing is gonna enable us to do going to enable us to fill the filter. So we've got the filter in the old in the box that came in. Let's open up our oil jug here. Yeah, we're going to need both of them. It holds 12 quarts. Take that out. Get that off. Yeah, I'm going to fill the filter first and then we'll, uh, we'll let you have at it, okay? So, we'll see if we can do this without Filling it. Look out, bud. You're not pulling it 
we don't always fill a filter up when we do an oil change, but when we do, we make sure we videotape it. So, get a little oil on the O-ring here. Get our little oil filter plug in. Wipe our filter off. So I'm just going to neatly set the filter in like this. I'm going to let it drop down into the frame rail. It's just kind of setting there against the power steering hose or something. I don't even know what the heck's down in there. That like that. So we've got our plug out. And we're gonna just going to set this up into place. I'm going to feel around, see if we can find out where it's supposed to go. We've already checked and made sure we're not, we don't have a double ring on there. In other words, the, the uh, O-ring to the other filter is not on there. And that surface area that the filter mates up against is uh, clean. as we can get it by hand. Now I'm just gonna bump it. Half to three quarter turn with the wrench. It's kind of an awkward angle. Usually we only put them on like, you know, good and hand tight, but uh, I can't get my hand in there all that well, so I don't trust that I have it on there tight enough. Alright, one finger, bang. So we've got that on there, now we're going to let Junior pour the oil in. Alright, you think you're going to be able to pour this in there without making a mess, Bob? No? I don't think I can pour You don't think you can pour the whole thing? Maybe half of it. Maybe half of it. Well, it holds 12 quarts, so we've got 10 in this jug and 10 in the other one. We'll have to pour a little bit of oil out of the uh, out of the other oil drum here. So your filter helps them too. <clears throat> yeah, you ought to be able to finish it. Pour it up on there. Put the oil cap over here so we don't lose it. Junior's flashlight. You can't get it? No. I'll probably only need that one. Filter probably holds two cords. Okay. Yeah, Alright, pour the rest of that in there, Bob. Check the oil. Pull the dipstick out. Check it. See it right there? Yeah. Check that. Right. Pull that all the way out. Wipe it off and then put it back in. How long is this? Yeah, you 
Get her wiped off. Wipe it right off. All right, now put it back in and pull it out and check it, okay? Okay, let's set that cat back in there. Why don't you go start it up and let it run for a minute? Here. Alright, he's gonna start this up. We're just gonna let it run for a minute. And uh we can check everything R. We'll make sure the oil filter is not leaking. And uh when he gets this started here. Alright, that's running. We'll take a peek in on this side. A little dribble on the oil filter, but it's uh, for where we spilled it a little bit when we put it. Put the oil filter on. Yeah, that one's full too, so. Alright, we can shut that off now, Bob. We'll check the oil on it. We'll pull this out. We'll get that payloader in here. And Junior's got to get his flashlight put away. So we'll go ahead and check this. Nothing on the stick. So we got to pour a little more in. Yeah, you know, I told mine too, it's still something else. They take 12 quarts every time. Yeah, yeah, so it only needs about a quart and a half or so to get it up to the uh, filter. Or up to the line. This one is full, bud. Now, I'll just pour a little bit in like that. Leave it right in there. Leave it right in there. No, you got it. It's right there. That level's right there. So we're going to put a Another couple more glugs in. One of the gentlemen from Kentucky there, that's what they called that. Just a couple of couple of splurts, glugs. Two to three glugs. We're actually pretty good there now. We're gonna put one glug in just to raise that oil level up just a little bit. So Okay. I'm gonna put one glug in. You ready? One. Oh, and I spilled a bunch. Two. <laughs> Alright. That should be done now. How do you get that on there so tight? Pull her out again. All right, don't hold it up in here. Hold it flat, and that is perfect. Okay, shove that back in there. All right, we'll put the oil cap on it. That'll be good. Put that on there. Where 
Okay. Okay. Alright, this one's done. I'm gonna check on these guys here. They're getting the step pieces on. Got that other new one on there. And we're tightening up some bolts on the uh, frame of the spreader here. So if you got new bolts, them are still hot, ain't they? The other side's loose too. So, six bolts all together. Just put one washer on each side. Being that you're running all new, uh, you'll, be able to, you'll be able to get that fine. Okay? Alright, you got the step all done. Close, I'm trying to find a longer bolt. Yeah. Few threads in that. Alright, put the bolt, use a longer bolt, and then uh, just put it out well, through the other side. So. Okay. All right, Andrew wants to uh, rev this up like his brother did. Go ahead. Doesn't that sound sick? <laughs> All right. Oh, he thinks he's something in there. So. Okay. Well, they got the oil changed on this uh, 8320 here. James is pumping hydraulic oil into a pail. They've been working on the crawler, so they're getting ready to put oil back into this one now. This one's all done draining, Joe. 